Welcome back, Roadrunners. My name is Enrique Medina. Hey, I'm, Brandon. I'm Brandon Garcia. My name is Manny Smith. And I'm Jonathan Smart. And welcome to this episode, this edition of Real Talk. So in this episode of Real Talk, we're going to be giving an update on COVID-19 here in the state of California. Uh, first off, just recently announced uh, California Governor Gavin Newsom just announced in response to last weekend, there are a lot of people in Orange County, in Ventura County, where beaches were reopened and we saw a lot of crowds, a lot of big crowds in those beaches, uh, not really enforcing and using the, what people have been talking about, the social distancing aspect. And uh, just in general, it was really crowded. And in response to that, Governor Newsom announced that starting tomorrow, Friday, May 1st, all beaches across the whole state are going to close down until otherwise known. So I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on uh, the decision of Governor Newsom to take that stance. And uh, what are your guys' thoughts about uh, his decision to close the beaches statewide? I think the decision is pretty good. It's a good decision because when you look at, like, how like rapidly the virus spreads that I don't think that so many people should be next to each other without practicing that distancing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, one thing... Go ahead. No, 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 you got it. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. One thing I want to bring up too is that uh, even though people were generally like far apart from each other in the beaches, there's still the fact that you never know. People are walking around. They won't really, uh, enforce and use that six feet apart and it's just in my personal opinion it's just too risky a chance of reopening the beaches at this point so i think good a good decision by governor newsom in uh, taking full responsibility and taking action quickly because if this kept going for the next few weekends uh we don't know how how much worse the virus could have gotten here in southern california because of that so yeah i mean it it shouldn't even have to be a ruling. Like he shouldn't have to like come out and do this. People should just know that, dude. Like we're going through some crazy stuff as a, as a nation, as a country, and actually as a whole world. You know, like we're all fighting the same battle right now. And like, come on, the beach. Like, just let's just be patient. Like that's, it's like listen to the rules. What they're telling us to do, so this doesn't get worse and spread more. That makes sense. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Anything else to add, Manny? Um, like it's too early just to open like all the beaches and all that stuff, and um, um, like we just have to be just cautious of like of of like our um surroundings and like just be six, um, just be six like feet away from each other. But yeah, like like it's too early to like open the beaches and and like all that stuff, like. Um, it's a good thing that the mayor's um going to be closing everything down starting tomorrow. So, like, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, and the fact that yeah. Governor Newsom is taking that action uh, right away uh, just yeah. kind of serves to point that it's something that's needed because we don't know how much worse it would have gotten. And then also at this point, it's just a matter of self-discipline of uh, the people of Southern California. We just need to be more self-disciplined of, uh, be wary of the rules because of, I mean, even when shopping, even when grocery shopping, some people are still relatively close to each other when like picking out fruits and stuff like that. Uh, so I just think as a whole, we just need to be a lot more uh, self-disciplined, be cautious and be aware of our surroundings because you don't know if the person next to you might have it or not, whether they feel symptoms or not. Yeah, because to build off what, you, what you're what you saying is, like, like to think about it, when you go to the beach, like, you're not going to go with a mask. You're not going to get in the water with a mask. So, like, the whole concept of being at the beach is, like, being free and all that. And as of right now, we're not free to do any of that. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's a great point. You guys got uh, anything else to add regarding the governor's decision to close down the beaches? I, I think just just listen to the rules, man. Everyone just, the faster we all, like, listen, the faster this 
will hopefully be over, you know? Because, like, look at um, other places that tried opening early. Like, it was a second wave of the virus. And, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your your health and your potentially your family's health that you're putting like, on the line. So, of course. it just shows how, how much you care for your self and your family of course for sure totally agree with that so with that said let's move on into other COVID-19 news just recently yesterday uh Los Angeles City Mayor Eric Garcetti announced that across Los Angeles County it will be the first county that will offer free testing for COVID-19 for anybody in the county doesn't matter of what age um what background what anything everybody will get the chance to be tested if they want to or not. Which is why tonight I am so proud to announce that Los Angeles will become the first major city in America to offer wide-scale testing to all of its residents with or without symptoms. And we did that in just 40 days. So all of the things I've been talking about, worrying whether you work in a critical sector, whether you have symptoms or not, moving forward, in the city of Los Angeles, you will be able to, whether you have symptoms or not, get tested. Those with symptoms will, of course, have the first priority, but we have the capacity, we believe, to move forward with that starting tonight. So if you think you might have COVID-19, want the reassurance that you don't, if you've been around people that you have seen with symptoms, get a test. We can do it. And I want to remind everybody, these tests are free for the public, no cost at all to you but you can't put a price on the peace of mind of knowing that you can't infect somebody around you. And the thing about this, it's gonna be completely free, no cost, no anything. Just a matter of heading to your location and getting tested. So LA County, the first county to offer free testing for COVID-19. What are your guys' thoughts on that? It's crazy how, how late they are with this, you know? I feel like they should have yeah already been having free testing all around the country. With a pandemic this bad, you don't even know if you have it for like, what is it like uh, like a couple of weeks? You don't even know if, if it's dormant in your system. It can be there for like like a couple like a week before and it won't even, you won't even have symptoms. Yeah, so but, uh, I, I feel like they'd be, they're behind on the curve. They yeah. should have been on this. I mean, yeah. Well, if, if you, like if everyone knows like there, if okay, let's say like your neighbor gets tested. Like I feel like more like the te- more tests that come out keeps people like more um, away from going outside and being with other people. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, yeah. If you know yeah. that this person has it, like this person has it, like okay, I think it, you realize that. Oh well, yeah, for sure. You gotta stay home, and yeah, I mean, I think it'll just take make people take it uh, everything more serious. Yeah, that's yeah. perfectly said. Of course, um, like you said, just people will take things more seriously. And uh, one thing I wanted to ask also in regards to this uh, this decision, do you think other counties across the state or even across the country will start taking similar action uh, in affording uh, or giving people free tests? Yeah, I think I think the rest of the country will follow suit. I mean, they kind of have to. It's like it, it'll become yeah, like, true. yeah, it'll become like the uh, what's the word, like the standard. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, this almost. this is something that's kind of like could could mean life or death. So, um, mm-hmm. I think it's super important that we take, especially the testing process, seriously. Like, uh, ev- everything in general needs to be taken seriously. The wearing of the masks, of uh, social distancing, the testing, uh, anything. Everything in regards to this, we need to act serious about it and we need to keep acting upon it until we know it's like completely washed away. You guys have any other any other comments in regards to this, the decision? No. No, no so yeah. so in that sense, uh just hoping all of you guys at home are staying safe. Just remember to uh, incorporate social distancing into your everyday lives. We know that this is obviously a tough time for everybody involved, for people working, uh, people going to school, um, people in general. Just make sure you 
don't go out and uh like the beaches of course like that example don't make dumb choices and uh, make sure you just follow the rules because there there could be people who could potentially be in danger your family members maybe grandparents uh we just want to make sure we're on the top of our game to help out the people we love so with that said uh any final comments from you guys uh to build off what you just said right now is like another thing is, is like for us it's not as fatal for us for younger younger people but if we do get it we could pass it on to like the elder people in our family mm-hmm. who have lower immune systems or like babies who have lower immune systems and they could uh they could die from it so you have to be more careful with like the way that we operate of course yeah i mean just, let's be safe let's um just follow the rules man like we don't want this to get any worse so um stay home just listen for sure any final comments manny uh so honestly just just stay home um and um if you don't like need to be out just just stay home and and just Stay clean, stay wash your hands, and just keep everyone safe, and um, we'll get through this. Of course, yeah, it's, it takes a whole group effort from everybody around the whole world, uh, especially the people here, uh, the fact that we live in SoCal, it's, it's a total group effort, and yeah, just with that being said, we're just hoping that people can make the right decisions, and everything hopefully starts to settle down a little bit more quickly, but it's a it's a process where we're gonna have to be really patient really self-disciplined so uh, let's just hope it improves throughout the next few weeks so with that said that's gonna wrap up this episode of real talk my name is enrique medina i'm Danny smith smart. i'm Brandon garcia and i'm jonathan smart and i'm Annie smith thank you guys